Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm teaching you how to make a delicious salad. Antipasto salad. This is one of my family's favorites. We're also going to mix up some ranch dressing to go with this salad. Since we have a lot of chopping to do, we're going to cheat a little bit and use one of the Hidden Valley Ranch dressing packets. We'll let that be our little secret. Here are the ingredients you'll need for this yummy salad. A head of lettuce, some green olives, some black olives, mayonnaise, a ranch dressing packet, ham or sliced ham, pepperoni, a packet of applewood smoked bacon bits, sliced mushrooms, now the kind that's in the jar, mild banana pepper rings, a block of mozzarella cheese. Now you could use the shredded cheese if you want. Also, an onion, a sweet onion. A large tomato I had the two small ones so I'm gonna use those and a cup of milk all right grab your paper pencil take a seat and let's get chopping okay now the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna mix up our salad dressing so we need one cup of mayonnaise into the bowl And we're going to add our ranch dressing mix. And we're going to stir that up just a little bit before we add in our milk really slowly. Once this is mixed up, I'm going to start adding in one cup of milk really slowly. And we're going to add just a little bit at a time to make sure it's all incorporated and we don't have any lumps. Just keep adding a little bit at a time and continue to stir. Now when you first get this done, it is a little bit runny, but you have to refrigerate it before you can use it. Now I'm going to put this in a container and I'm going to refrigerate this for about an hour, maybe two, while I assemble my salad. Once this has been refrigerated, if it gets too thick, you can always thin it out with some milk. My lettuce is washed and I'm tearing it into small pieces. I finished tearing up my lettuce. Now you can use a salad spinner if you have one of those. But if you don't, you can always take and just lightly dab some of the water up with a paper towel, but be very gentle. Be sure to put it in a strainer first, get as much water out as you can, and then lightly dab with a couple paper towels. That should do it. And we're gonna set this aside until we need it and we start assembling our salad. We're gonna chop our onion. We're gonna set it aside in a bowl. We're gonna do a lot of chopping before we actually get to assemble our salad. Now we're going to chop up our tomato. You can use a large one, but I happen to have the two small ones. So go ahead and chop those into small little pieces. Now with each item that I'm chopping, I'm actually putting those in separate smaller bowls. 
that's going to make it really quick and easy to assemble my salad when I'm ready. This one's going to be easy. Just use sliced mushrooms. I drained them really well. Just gave them a little squeeze. You know how mushrooms like to hold on to water. And then I'm probably going to take a paper towel over top of them just to dab up a little bit of the moisture. All right, that was easy. Next, I'm going to slice up some green olives. This one is about the most tedious one. Now remember, if you can find them already sliced and you want to do it that way, that'll save you this step right here. Now I'm using about half a jar of the green olives. I've got a medium sized jar. Just be sure to dab up some of the moisture before you put them in the bowl. using a whole can of large black olives. Remember, if you want to buy the ones that are already sliced, that can save you this step. There's my olive. Time to slice us up some ham. I bought a package of this and I'm just going to start cutting. I'm using it about four or five pieces at a time and then I'm just slicing them horizontal and then vertically. Right, I'm going to place it on my plate so that when I get ready to assemble it's all ready to go. Need more than that. my two brownies and I'm going to put them on the plate with my ham so it'll be ready to assemble. Now I have two more things I have to do. I'm going to open and drain my banana pepper rings and I'm going to slice some mozzarella cheese. I'm going to shred some cheese. Now you don't have to shred cheese if you want to just buy the already shredded but there's just something different about Freshly shredded mozzarella. It's softer. Doesn't have all that cakey, gooey stuff they put on it to separate it. And I just think it tastes better, especially on this salad. But you use whatever you have. I think I'm going to need maybe the whole block.
ready to start assembling our salad. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about this bowl. Now this bowl, I broke my salad bowl. This bowl is actually a punch bowl, but I'm going to use it for my salad. Something this pretty needs to be seen all the way through. All right, we're going to start off with our lettuce in the bottom. Okay. All that lettuce in there. Next, <clears throat> now we're going to assemble this in an order. Next is our tomatoes. Next thing we're going to put in is our onion. I'm going to go all the way around the top. Use as much onion as you like. If you don't like it, just leave it out. But it is good. Alright. After that, we're going to add in our green olives. So you want to take those all the way around the top. Next are black olives. Make sure they're spread out really well. After that, I've got my drained banana peppers. sure they're evenly spread around. Next we're going to go in with our mozzarella cheese. Alright, there's my cheese. Next we have our ham. spread on top. Next comes mushrooms. And last but not least, pepperoni. Right on top. We're going to come back and serve this up. Here is our delicious antipasto salad. 
It is beautiful in that glass bowl. All those yummy vegetables, olives, cheese, the ham, bacon, and pepperoni are so delicious together. This salad served with a creamy ranch dressing. Your family will definitely want another helping of this. This is great as a side salad or as a full meal all by itself. Just serve with some buttery club crackers on the side. This is another meal that can be easily made low carb or keto. For my low carb keto friends, when making the salad dressing, just use heavy whipping cream instead of the milk and thin with some water. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you give this one a try. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know how you liked it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more delicious comfort foods coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.